Electrification. Driven by improvements in technology and concerns over climate change, we can expect to see drones and electrically powered air taxis in regular service in only a few short years. In fact, the future is here. Now. Aviation is big business for the UK, generating a £60 billion annual turnover and supporting a million jobs. Electrification will expand the £2 billion currently invested each year as new opportunities beckon. But alongside the economic and social benefits of these developments, there will be a downside. Noise impact. And this will risk a backlash from the public. Investigations being undertaken at the University of Southampton's Institute of Sound and Vibration Research are at the epicenter of developments to help solve this problem. With drones, both the aerodynamics of the aircraft are different from conventional aircraft, but equally in operation they're flying far closer to people, so that makes them more noticeable acoustically. <laughs> We're familiar with the use of drones for military surveillance, aerial photography, and for leisure. But these are small drones, operated mostly in non-public areas, where noise is not such an issue. As the use of drones increases, that will inevitably change. Initial rollout of drones will be via public service support. At the University of Southampton, a medical delivery trial across the Isle of Wight is already planned. Now everyone will welcome a drone on a life-saving mission to speed blood to a patient. But Amazon, UPS, and even pizza delivery companies all have projects underway to develop drone delivery programs. How will the public react to the noise that they produce? Drones are currently designed for performance, not noise suppression. But that will need to change if they are to be acceptable to the public. For urban air taxis, that will be even more important. But it's also important to understand exactly what it is that people find so annoying. Our goal is to investigate what are the most annoying features of drone noise so we could inform strategies or actions for mitigating the effects of those features. The team from Southampton are starting to understand the ways in which drones produce noise and then find ways to quieten them. We want to gather all the information which is needed to underpin a regulatory framework which will make this type of aviation sustainable into the future. Research is urgently needed in these areas, not least as the sector is moving so fast. Work being carried out at the University of Southampton and with industry will inform the development of rules to help with low-noise drone design. This will play a crucial role in helping to develop this industry for the future.